Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 14th of January, morning edition. A lot to talk about. Cold, wet, miserable, freezing rain up in the northwest corner, maybe. Snow later this week somewhere, maybe. Uh, so let's get in there and talk about it. We'll try and answer all your questions. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots. These were captured early this morning at the insane hour of 5 o'clock. And what you see is what you get. Low clouds, fog, light rain. That's coming from Trussville. There's a look at downtown Jasper. And up in Haleyville in Winston County, where the rain has stopped for now, they're sitting at uh, 36 degrees up there. That's one of the colder spots in the state. Well, there's the deal. Big, cold trough over the west. Here in the southeastern states, the cold air seeped in last night, but it's very shallow, and the warm, moist air goes up and over that. That's called overrunning, and that can be a very efficient rain producer, and we think it will be wet in coming days. Uh, temperatures, again, 36 in Haleyville. That's the cold spot. 38 in Coleman, mostly mid-40s around here, and these numbers won't change much all day today. Basically, what you see there is what you're going to get, except down to the south, uh, places like Montgomery and Alexander City, where they're warmer. Temperatures there could actually fall during the day today, and around the nation, it's just brutal out west. I mean, the, the little January thaw we had, it's fading fast. That's the radar at 4.52 this morning. That big, massive, heavier rain is down to the south, but that will be pulling north today. And where that band kind of sets up and sits will determine where the greatest risk of flooding will be. No doubt with the rains we had last night, the ground is very saturated, so the Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch for Alabama, basically along and north of Interstate 20. That includes Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston points north. And if you look carefully on that watch warning map up in the northwestern corner of the state, the counties in the purple colors, that would be Lawrence, Franklin, Colbert, and Lauderdale. That is a winter weather advisory for potential for freezing rain uh, tonight and tomorrow morning. And we'll explore that in just a minute. And we note uh, the advisories include uh, North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and there's even an ice storm warning for parts of the Mississippi Delta around Greenville, Mississippi, uh, across the river at Lake Village, Arkansas, uh, almost down toward Vicksburg. And, and again, freezing rain, that is rain that is falling in liquid form, but temperatures are below 32 at the surface, and the, the you know water can freeze on impact, and that's kind of a messy situation. And again, we're going to explore that in depth here in just a minute. This is a look at the expected rain for the next five days coming off the QPF graphic, and this is suggesting rain amounts of 2 to 3 inches along and north of Interstate 20. This is the uh, projected rain off the NAM, the uh, North American mesoscale model through 84 hours. Very similar placement. Uh, very heavy rain over about the northern third of the state. And there's a look at it in graphical form coming off modeling. And again, uh, many of the models bring rain amounts of two to three inches in here this week. And obviously with the rain that we have seen already, we don't need that because that could open the door for some flash flooding. Even though there's no convection here, this is just stratiform rain. All right, let's dig in there and look at all the, the potential mischief issues here. This is the uh, OZGFS at noon today. Trough in the west, warm ridge over the Florida Peninsula. Down below that, uh, overrunning rains continue. And again, temperatures today will just basically hold in the 40s all day. What you've got this morning is probably what you're going to see at 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon. Now, this is tomorrow at noon, and again, the, the rain continues, but you know what we're interested in is the potential for maybe some freezing rain uh, late tonight, early tomorrow morning. These are projected temperatures at uh, 6 o'clock local time tomorrow morning coming off the NAM. And, and again, l let me stress, th there will be no icing problems for Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston. We're talking the far northwestern corner of the state. Do, don't expect any icing issues in Huntsville or Decatur. This is just basically for the Shoals, maybe Russellville, maybe Hamilton. That's a very outside chance. I'd say a small chance. And really, this is suggesting temperatures in the mid-30s. It'll be a close call. Uh, keep in mind that the models typically don't handle shallow cold air very well. They don't. So these numbers might be a smidgen high, but you can see the concern. And uh, this is the 
graphical look at the potential freezing rain for Muscle Shoals uh, coming off the uh, uh, GFS, and it's got big numbers uh, this afternoon and tonight. Now, if by chance we had 1.6 inches of freezing rain, that would be the disaster of all disasters. It will not be like that, but there's definitely the chance of a little freezing rain around the shoals, and that's the reason for that winter weather advisory. But again, around here, we just stay uh, cold and wet today, tonight, and tomorrow. Uh, now, Wednesday, the rain might let up a little bit on Wednesday. Uh, it would be light, still cloudy, still cold. Uh, I don't think we see 50. I think we'll stay in the 40s all day. All right, now Thursday, this is the feature to watch. Here's the next problem in this whole forecast. It's a can of worms. A very deep upper low now is showing up on the GFS with very cold air aloft coming through north Mississippi and down below that uh, midday Thursday. It, it's just wet. But again, underneath that cold core, Upper low, we all know this, cold core upper low, weatherman's woe. There can be dynamic cooling. Conventional logic here would suggest Thursday's just a wet day. Uh, the GFS is showing a high of 46, but with that dynamic cooling, strange things can happen. And we note the OZ GFS actually identifies that possibility and tries to print 1.6 inches of snow at Birmingham. Uh, during the day Thursday. And uh, let me just tell you right now that that's a little voodoo magic because no human and no computer knows here on Monday how a cold core upper low will behave on Thursday and especially when trying to forecast some snow. Could this happen? It could. But again, nobody knows if it will and where the dynamic cooling will occur. It might be north of here, might be south of here. But uh, f for now, I, I think we'll just mention rain and let you know, those of you that watch this video, that there's some potential maybe for some snow mixed in with that. Here's the uh, map showing the snow depth uh, Friday morning at 6 o'clock. And this, is, of course, would be from what happens Thursday. And uh, again, this is suggesting like 1 to 2 inches of snow for the northern half of Alabama on, on Thursday. I would not be surprised if that totally vanishes off the board on the next run. We don't even know if that cold core will be strong enough or dynamic enough to produce that uh, cooling in the column to get the snow down to the surface. So for now, this is just voodoo and speculation, and we're not going to really mention this in the forecast. But again, just be aware that there's potential for some mischief on Thursday. And then Friday, it's gone. It's out of here. The sun breaks out. We clear how about that? Uh, and we might even see 50 on Friday for the first time in a long time. Uh, for the weekend, a chance to uh, uh, relax. Temperatures where they should be for this time of the year. You know, we, we've been warmer than average, colder than average. This is where we ought to be. Highs, low 50s, lows around freezing on Saturday. The sky should be sunny. And the same thing on Sunday. Uh, so a nice weekend. But, ooh, look up there north of Montana. That is a 1,051 Millibar high. That's cold. Woo. And then a week from today, the flow is not high amplitude. It's zonal. We're going to watch that cold air as it uh, kind of seeps in here. Uh, then over on the 22nd, this is Tuesday of next week, a trough does begin to form over the east, and that cold air begins to flood down in here, suggesting just maybe the middle part of next week could be really cold. That's the European look at it. And, uh, you know, again, it's too early to say how cold, but just potential for next week to be very cold. That idea is clearly on the table. And then we'll check the end of the forecast. This is the uh, 29th. The pattern relaxes. Some kind of deep upper feature comes in here with a chance of rain. But again, we're sure not going to worry about weather that far in advance where it's hard enough this week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. Don't forget to catch us on television this evening or the uh, live stream, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.